Hey, all right, today we're gonna do a spatchcock chicken. I got this chicken, doesn't say what it weighs, nothing. I weighed it. After everything's out, it's probably gonna be about a five and a half pound chicken. I'm gonna spatchcock this chicken and we're gonna smoke it on the Lone Star Grill's pellet grill. Uh, this is another meal, another part of our Super Bowl feast. And uh, hey, let's go inside. I'll show you how I spatchcock it. All right, so, I mean, you know, spatchcocking a chicken, right? Turn it on its back, cut the backbone up, open it up, Bob's your uncle. Well, guess what? We're doing it the man kitchen way, and you know I like to do things different. So we are cutting this bird. We're going to cut this bird on the breast. Okay, I'm going to get it right down there in the center. Sharp knife, go right down the breastbone, just like that. Open it up. Spread it out. There you go. That's the man kitchen batch cup. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pat this dry. I'm going to salt and pepper. I'm going to let it dry brine for probably two or three hours. Of course, 24 to 72 is the best, but it's all the time I got today. Uh, let me get the salt and pepper and we'll go from there. Put salt on it. Just want you to look at this bird. Is that the way to spatch cock a chicken? No cutting the backbone off. We're leaving that baby in there. Now... One issue I do have, since I did just move, I don't have any kosher salt. But what I do have, I have some Mediterranean sea salt that I smoked some time ago. So we're going to put some Mediterranean sea salt on here as part of the brine, dry brine. Nothing like some smoked salt, eh? Actually, I need to do the bottom side first. Okay. Don't worry, I'll wash the bottle off. We're good. Get that leg up. There I go again, doing the top side. <clears throat> Never make the holes big enough in pepper, do they? I like lots of pepper. So we're doing it. All right, I'm gonna put this on a cookie sheet and put it in the refrigerator for a couple hours before we uh, put this in the smoker. I am gonna be smoking today. I love the bourbon barbecue pellets from uh, Bear Mountain. I'm gonna be using those. 300, I might go 325. I think I'll do 325. It'll probably take an hour and a half to two hours. Anyway, I'm gonna let this dry out and we'll be back. Got a little pregame nachos going. Cheese dip, beans. Super Bowl crowd is here, so we got an audience. Here's the uh, man kitchen spatchcock chicken going down. And a couple trays of wings. 325. Let's get them in. We got 325 degrees. Put the chicken up here. Maybe one of the chicks. Oh, wait. My bad. Get the chicken up here. I think that'll still close. Wings and the spatchcock down here. All right, a couple hours, hour and a half, whatever. The wings and chicken just about done. All right, so here I've got some buffalo sauce, some frank, some butter. I actually put a little bit of brown sugar in there too. Uh, the wings are done. So for half of them, I'm just gonna put them right here in, right in the buffalo sauce. Just like that. Okay, so there we go. I don't have all the bowls yet, but we can certainly make some stuff here. Go. Buffalo hot wings right there. Look at that. All right. For the other wings, we're going to do a little bit of a uh, Dr. Pepper and some Sweet Baby Ray's. Have to thin it down with some soda. We'll uh, get the wings in there in a minute. Yeah, Dr. Pepper, Sweet Baby Ray's for the other wings.
like that. These non-spicy were for the kiddos, and these were amazing. Right, that chicken is done. We're hitting 172 in the breast. Time to take it off. Man, look at that. I'm gonna go inside, we're gonna cut this up and make it for sandwiches. Man, and look how good this is. Woo! And here's a quick look at our Super Bowl feast. Mm-mm-mm. Right, just like uh, the Greek, the beef green chili video that uh, hopefully you watched. If not, I'll have a card at the end. Uh, this is the uh, spatchcock chicken. I'm telling you, that spatchcock chicken came out so tender. And I'm fixing this one the same way, on a roll, with some Duke's uh, mayonnaise. And uh, we're just going to pile it on. Yeah, skin and all. The skin came out great. Uh, I reheated it. And uh, we'll just pile this on. This chicken was so tender, so fall apart. <laughs> I wish I could have uh, videoed cutting it up because it was incredible. Um, it made a great, when you cut it up like that, it serves a lot more people than if you're just cutting, you know, a leg, a thigh, and a couple of breasts off of a chicken. So uh, if you got a crowd, roast up a chicken, spatchcock it. That's a different way of doing it. Hope you enjoyed that. And here is my chicken. Sandwich, roasted chicken, spatchcock chicken. Let's go take a taste test of this. Look at that. Man, so good. All right, here we are. Yeah, same background, still got the snow. I made that spatchcock chicken. I cut that chicken down the breast instead of cutting the back out. You know what I really like about doing it that way? On the backbone, you get those little chicken oysters. They're laying right there on the backbone. When you cut that out, when you're spatchcocking the chicken, you lose those. They're so good. Anyway, here's my spatchcock roasted chicken sandwich. This was a hit at the Super Bowl party too. And uh, I gotta take a taste test for you. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Yeah, the, that Duke's mayo really helps with the flavor of a chicken sandwich. I'm telling you. Give it a try. Spatchcock your chicken, slice down the breast, open it up. Mmm, so good. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.